What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're doing the Neymar kit swap that I promised you guys on Instagram. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to this video. Basically, I just did a basic kit swap. It's Neymar in a PSG kit, changed to a Real Madrid kit. I'll put it up on the screen right now. I've done one of these before and it was it, it did pretty well on the channel. It was okay. The kit swap itself on Ronaldo to Man City wasn't great. I did it quite quickly, but this one's a lot more refined and looks a lot more cleaner. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to learn some new tips that I've learned and basically just, yeah, another kit swap video. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So guys, first things first, you want to download your Neymar kit swap, you know, textures or whatever. There's not really any textures in this. It's sort of just an image, um, two images of a kit and then some skin um, shadows. So I've just made the color already to save you guys doing it. Just, I mean, it makes it easy for you guys pretty much. So we've got that. Then what you're going to need to do is get a new document, 2160 by 2700 um, and then click OK, 300 resolution, you know, all this is fine, just click create and now we have our document. So what we're going to do first, we're going to drag the Neymar image in and we're just going to sort of prep it a little bit. So there's a few things I want to do to it. First, obviously you're going to need to position it correctly in the middle, so about there. And then what we're going to do is we are going to add some color layers to these. So we want to make his eyes and teeth white. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to hue and saturation, reduce that to 100 and then invert the mask. So command I or control I, I think it is on Windows. Um, and then we're going to do the same with the curves layer. I'm going to boost this up so it's quite bright and then go command I. So move the curves below saturation, get a brush. So you want probably a hard brush. Yeah, probably a hard brush for this. It makes it a lot easier. Uh, increase your opacity to 100% and then we're going to zoom in to where his eyes are and his teeth and we're going to sort of just paint a layer of this curves over the top. So like this, you'll see what I mean once I add the saturation over the top as well. So we're just going to brighten up his eyes like that. Pretty simple. Um, not too complicated. So I'm going to do it over here as well. And make sure you don't get any on his uh, skin or anything because you don't want it that to go grey because uh, once we apply the layer mask it will go all like grey and you won't be able to see it basically. So we've got that, here we go, okay so that's that's done. Now what you're going to do is hold alt and you're going to drag this layer mask on the curves layer across to the hue and saturation so it applies the same layer mask. So let's do that now. So I've done that and now as you can see everything's gone white but obviously we don't want his eyes to go white so we're going to select the hue and saturation layer going to increase our brush size to cover the eyeball, invert our color so instead of black we're going to paint white so we can paint back in the, um, actually no we're going to keep it as black sorry and then we're just going to go like that and there you go. As you can see it's gone back to orange and there we go as you can see it's gone back to orange. Now we have his eye color but they're still bright with a white background um, so now if we zoom out you can see it just looks a lot better basically. Um, that looks 10 times better so yeah let's do that. So what you need to do now is you can just clip and mask these to that layer and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our kit. So this is a Sendio. It's just sort of a good image to use. It was the same posture and everything. So not that one. Same posture. And it, it sort of just fit the style I wanted for this uh, kit design. He's in the same, like his arms are in the same position. That's the hardest thing is finding another image with the same kit, good quality, um, with a similar position so that when you do warp the uh, kit, it doesn't look too weird. So what we're going to do, we're going to cut this out. So I'm going to use the pen tool for this. So basically just, just go around. You don't have to do it too accurately. I'm not going to do it too accurately because obviously I've already done this and I don't want to keep you guys for ages. So if you are following along, just, you know, do what I'm doing. And there we go. Now you might be thinking, why have I not done this bit under his arm? Now in my original, which is over here, I haven't used it, see, because it, it didn't work with the uh, with the arm posture of Neymar. So basically I'm gonna leave it out this time and see if we can work with it. So leave it out and then let's just create the selection, which is up here, click selection, click okay. And then we've got a selection of this kit and then we can just layer mask or command J or control J to create a new layer of this kit. So as you'll see now on your layers panel, I'll click Control J uh, or Command J and then there's a new kit. So we can turn that off now, we've got the kit. So convert this to a smart object, otherwise you won't be able to puppet warp it properly. Convert it to a smart object and then we're gonna go and make sure that it's probably the right, it's probably the right size there. Yeah, that, that's pretty good position. So we can have it about there 
and then we're going to go to edit and then go down to puppet warp which is there so just click okay on that and then we can uh, start warping okay guys so now that you've got your puppet warp in place what we're going to do is we're going to place some markers so as you can see on these points here we can put a point so like that there you go now you can't move this so what you're going to do is put in the areas that are, that are already okay i want to make sure that um you put some points where it's all, all fine already because you don't want the middle bits to move because it will just make it look all distorted and it basically just won't look right uh, but on the edges here and stuff you are going to want to move it so so here, like as you can see I'm doing now, I've put a point over here and now I'm moving it over. Now this doesn't look great, so we're going to get rid of this one. We're going to put this one over here. I'm going to put that one there, put this one here, put this one here. Okay, and now you can see I'm moving the whole body across. Now it looks better. See, I've moved it all at once. Now if I move this bit down here, there we go. Now we can even move this in a little bit just so it doesn't look so weird, like here as well. There you go. That's good. And here we want to move it down as well so that it covers the whole thing now I'm not sure if this on the edge here is any close so we don't need to worry about that too much at the moment but we can just push this in a little bit so it just matches the body type the main thing you want to do here is get it to match the the other kit that he's wearing pretty much so if we do that we're gonna have a pretty good idea how it should look so here I'm just trying to match everything up to the sleeve so that looks pretty good already so I've only done a bare minimum there and we want to move this up here so it covers his arm. That's looking good. Now the collar we'll worry about later, so don't worry about that too much. So we want to move this down here. See, as you can see, you want it to cover the whole arm. So here, as you can see here, uh, if I zoom in. Now zoom in when you're doing this. I'm, I'm literally rushing it. So zoom in because it will make it a lot easier on your eyes. Um, unless you want to go blind by the age of like 20. Um, so here, I've, I've basically taken his bit of a uh, kit here and I've applied this kit to it so as you can see it sort of just joins on already so it means you, you have to do less work so this is quite exciting because doing less any, anybody likes to do less work don't they um, I mean I do anyway so if if you do get this situation then we're gonna take it so the only thing that I'm struggling with here is obviously you can see the kit still here there's one thing that we're gonna have to do to get rid of this bit of kit um, because the, if you see what I'm doing with this one you can pull it as much as you want but it won't actually it just won't work it won't cover up the whole thing and you don't want to you don't want to ruin your design just because of one little bit um, but at the moment this is good so let's get this to connect on the end that's nice now we can worry about up here let's just go up here now this bit is a little bit outwards which I don't really like um, let's just go back and undo that now here we're going to want this bit up here, we're going to want this bit to be up here, this bit's going to need to be out here. Now this bit I really want to flatten it down a little bit because it just doesn't look very good. So there we go, let's just do that. Let's do that. That that looks better. Okay, so now we can go to the edge of the arm here, pull it in. See, if you if you don't pull it in, it's like it's like he's got a massive oversized jersey on because obviously it, it just doesn't look right. Um, so making sure that it matches up with the other jersey is key basically so now as you can see I know I've, I've pulled his arm in a little bit and it it's going out wide here but that's just how the kit is so if I turn this off oh, I can't turn it off at the moment um, but if I uh, look now it looks more like it it fits him now there's obviously little bits of work to do but at the moment it looks like it fits him so that that's that's all we're aiming for here guys we don't want a perfect match. Obviously, kit swaps aren't perfect. I see a lot of um, a lot of channels and stuff do quick do uh, like kit swaps, and they aren't perfect. They 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 rich they literally. I've seen Sky Sky um, Sky Sports or Sky's Instagram do kit swaps, and they look nothing. They they look terrible. So don't worry about getting it spot on. But as long as it has like a general, you know feel to it that it's it's right that's good enough you're never you're never ever going to get a kit swap that looks identical unless you have like the perfect images perfect literally perfect everything pretty much so here obviously i'm stretching it a little bit it looks a little bit weird now we want to make sure this all curves so that it doesn't look weird like down here probably want to pull this down a little bit like so now here i don't know how far down this kit is but it's about there so probably if we go over here as well, it's going to be a similar situation. So that's about right. 
Now, if I click OK, this is probably going to look really jaggedy. So, yeah, it, it looks OK. So, if we zoom out, it looks it looks all right. Like, this bit's joining nicely. This bit's fine. Um, the the kit's fine. This shoulder needs a little bit of work, and the arms here need... by well, the neck, not the arms. What the hell am I on about? Needs a little bit of work. So, i just go in here and probably just smooth this out a little bit. Smooth it out. Then move this pin out. Oh, no. This one here. There we go. Now it doesn't look so stretched. Let's do this one here. There we go. You want to make it all look similar, otherwise it will just, you know, it just won't look right. Um, okay, so that's where his shoulder is already. Um, here, I want to move his arm in a little bit. See, like his arm's miles in. Okay, so let's put one here. Make it a lot thinner. Now, if your computer is struggling with this, don't worry. It, it, it's, it's, it's not surprising. Like my, my computer is making a lot of noise at the moment. Um, it's just how kit swaps are, especially when you're doing big, like puppet warp and editing this thing quite a lot. It just will happen. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Let's get this up here. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so if I zoom out, that looks better now. The arm looks way better. This arm looks fine. Uh, the neck looks pretty good. Now I could get this in a better state, but I'm gonna leave it like that for now because obviously this video is already you know, quite long, so I don't wanna drag it out too much. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer mask it out. So add a layer mask, get a hard brush. We're just gonna paint away the bits around his beard, obviously, because it just looks a little bit weird otherwise. Okay, let's do that. There we go. And then as well here, we're gonna get rid of his, well, not rid of his neck, but the bit that's going around his neck. So now if I zoom out, it looks like it's going around his neck. Perfect. Okay guys, so that's that bit done. Now what we need to do is we need to, we're gonna need to get his fingers to come through on this kit. Uh, so what we're gonna do with that, we are going to go for that. And then we are going to probably layer mask this out. Is that going to work? It is going to work. Okay. So I've left this disabled bit here. So what you need to do is go command and then click or control and then click. Don't need to press anything else. Just as you'll see this little square, I'll zoom in on it at the moment. This little square has come up with the rectangle around it. It will make a selection for you. Now this selection is covering the fingers. So what you need to do is just go over with a brush and just paint back in that, you know, bit of hand. Um, that's pretty much it. So once you've done this, go deselect. And then as you can see, his hands are coming through. There are a little bit of blue coming through. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in. We're going to get a brush. And then we're just going to go through and paint back in the white over this finger. Just so we can get rid of the blue like this. So this means if I do this, it won't stand out as much. And it'll just look more like it's on in a normal, you know, it's a normal kit. Make it look like it's on top of the... Uh, the image already so you don't need to worry about anything like that there you go that's done that's good so here as well you're probably going to want the kit to come through just so it looks like it's not cutting it out but yeah that's good nice i'm happy with that now what we're going to do is the shadows guys so the kit's done don't need to worry about that we're going to go get our shadows color and we're going to go and place that on here put it underneath the kit just so it looks right get a soft brush reduce your opacity to 20 and then we can start painting. So get a white color, and then we're gonna to go to where he, he has his shadows, and we're just gonna start painting. Now, this won't work on all of it, but it'll work on some of it. So we're just do, using a skin tone at the moment, and then we're gonna use a black afterwards. So around here, we're just gonna want a nice little shadow like this. There we go, that's nice. Good stuff. Okay, that's good. That's all you need to do with that one. And then what we're gonna do is create two uh, well, a layer underneath and we're going to select a black color still 20% opacity and this is where the proper shadows come in so here we're going to add a nice little shadow close to the kit like that that's good same here we're going to add a nice little shadow close to the kit there we go that just makes it look a little bit more realistic and then here we can add a tiny one as well close to the edge of the kit but that's enough you don't need to put anything more on now if I turn this on and off you can see the shadow there it's good it's enough that's fine so we've got all that done. So now I can delete this Ascendio one. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna convert this all to a smart object and bring it together. So let's select all of it, convert to a smart object, and that's good. So now, anybody would think that's a normal kit swap. So there's only a few more things we need to do just to sharpen it up a little bit and make it look even better. 
So we're going to add a new layer. We're going to go to Edit, Fill, and then 50% gray. Okay. Overlay this on him, clip and mask it, and then we're going to go to our Dodge and Burn tool. So these two are going to do shadows and highlights. So we're going to go in here like this, and we're going to just paint in some little bits of shadows on the kit just to bring it out a little bit more, make it look a little bit cooler. Like this, there we go, that's good. That's really nice. So you wanna do this on all parts. Just make sure you don't go on the background too much, otherwise that will make it look a little bit odd. If you've just got dark bits on the background. Under his armpits, that's good. You can even do it on his skin tone as well. On the bits that you think need shadows. There we go, like here. Especially under here. And on his face as well, if you want. You can do some on his neck, like that. You know, like that. There we go. Nice. But that's about it, guys, for that bit. We're going to do a dodge and dodge tool now. Now, this is highlight. So this is going to be sort of on his face, just to sharpen it up a little bit, make it a little bit brighter. Obviously, on his skin. Now, you can see there's a highlight on his skin at the moment, which is going down the, le uh, the right side of his arm. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a nice little highlight coming in here. So we're going to add a new layer, soft brush, get a white, and we're just going to zoom out and we're going to add a nice, if we make it nice and big, we're going to just add a nice little bit of light coming in here into the design. Reduce this down to about 50%. That's good. It's a slight little light, you know, it just makes it a little bit more realistic on his arm here. So that's that done. Um, what else do you need to do? Don't need to do anything else, I don't think. I just check my old one. Yep, that's all good. So only thing we need to do now is add a camera or filter and some color lookups and then we're done. So let's go Command Shift Option E to make a screenshot, convert this screenshot to a smart object and then we're gonna go into camera or filter. So we're in camera or filter guys. Now this is only gonna be basic tweets. I'm gonna tweet, <laughs> what am I on Twitter? Uh, tweaks, uh, so exposure up to 10. Contrast to like about seven. Highlights you can reduce a little bit. Texture I'm going to boost up to about seven. Clarity up to about eight or seven. Dehaze to about five. Saturation I'll bring that up to about seven or eight. Vibrance to about five. That's looking good already. Uh, curve you can just brighten this up. There we go. That's nice. Detail sharpening to about twenty. Noise reduction to about thirteen. About there. It's looking good. Okay, so the color I'm going to leave that. Uh, the only thing we need to do now is add a slight vignette and then a little bit of grain. There we go. And that's pretty much it, guys. So if I do a before and after, you can see it's just brightened it up a little bit, brought the shadows out more. The kit obviously matches really nicely. Obviously, the neck here I could have done a little bit better with, but obviously I've already done this, so I'm doing it quite quickly. So when you do it, you can take more time and make that a smoother curve. But for like a quick little attempt, that's good enough for me. So if I click OK, that's brilliant. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, that is the kit swap video. I know I might have gone through it quite quickly, so maybe just rewatch it again. You might get little bits that you might have missed. Um, I tried to do it as slowly as possible. It's just there's a lot to cram in and a lot of details. So, uh, obviously, I don't want the video being really long, otherwise, you just won't watch the whole thing. Um, but yeah, hopefully, you have enjoyed. If you have, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see another kit swap video, and there'll be another one on the way. Um, but yeah, for now, thank you so much for watching. Follow me on all the socials, Twitter, Instagram, uh, TikTok, and yeah, I'll uh, see you in the next video, guys.